This video is going to show you a lot of the different options that are available in Skyward Family Access. One of the main things to keep in mind is that when you are logged in, you want to make sure that up at the top it says Family Access. If it says Student Access, then that means you are logged in as your child and not as a parent. This here is a test database, so none of this information is real. Over on the left hand side, you will find your menu. This has clickable areas that you can click on to view different areas that apply to your child. Up here at the top, you'll see all students and there is a drop down arrow. If you click the drop down arrow, it will give you a list of the different students that you are responsible for in your account. Over on the right hand side at the top, you have a little tab that says My Account. If you click on that, it's going to bring up your account settings and in here you can change some different things about how your account is set up. So you do have the option to edit your information here. You can edit your address, your phone number, your email. Down at the bottom you have email notifications. So you can turn on notifications that you want to receive for your child. Whether that be grading emails and you can set the parameters as to when you want to receive those. Progress report emails, whether you receive those daily, weekly, or monthly. And then you can also receive notifications when your child's food service balance is under $10. So this can be sent as an email to you, just as a wall message, or it could be set up to show you both of those. At the very bottom, you have the option to hide students. So for example, if you have an elementary student that you really don't need to see their grade book or their schedule or their attendance or anything like that, you might want to hide that but still show your high school student and you do have the option to be able to do that. Please keep in mind that if you do check one of these and save then your child will no longer show on your family access. In order to have them show again you'll have to go back in and uncheck them and resave that. If you click on email history in the top it will show you a list of emails that you have sent through Family Access. So right now there are no emails that have been sent. I'll click on my home button just to show you a couple more things on here. Shows if you have unread messages. So this tells me right here I have unread messages that I need to take care of. It also shows that you're filtering messages. If you click on that it'll show you a couple, your filters that you have available for your messages and you can set those to whatever you would like. You also have the opportunity to click this down arrow here and you can show all messages that you hid or reset all the messages that you hid to unhidden and then it will show those. So I have the option on this specific message to hit the down arrow and hide the message or mark it as red. So you can do either one of those as well. Okay. This here is considered your wall and this is where messages will show up from teachers or administration that have been posted to the wall in Family Access. On the right hand side you'll have the calendar. Now currently there's nothing showing up on the calendar because it is not school year, but there are lots of different options that you can use on your calendar. So I just clicked on calendar there over here on the right hand side. The other way to get to calendar is to click over here on your menu. So when I click on calendar, it's going to bring up my calendar. I'm going to click on calendar display and it is going to show me all the different options that I have to be able to set up in my calendar. So a lot of different things can show on your calendar. You can have it show just for one student or again both. If you have multiple children, whichever options that you want it to be, you can kind of personalize that for your use. The next section on our menu is gradebook. When I click on Gradebook, you'll notice right now it says the Gradebook is not available when viewing all students. If you have more than one child, you do need to pick a specific student in order for the Gradebook to show. So again, you do that just by clicking the down arrow at the top and then clicking on the student. And it will bring up the Gradebook for that student. If you want to switch to the other student, again, just click the down arrow and then you can click on the other student. It will bring up that student. If there are missing assignments, right at the top it will show you that. So it says missing assignments and you can click show all. If there's a list it'll show you that. It can, it'll show you what the assignment is, some information about it, the teacher. Also down below there are different options that you can use in your actual gradebook. When you click on display options, 
gives you a couple of different options. You can show your assignments. When you click on that, it's going to show a list of assignments for that class. You can also hide those if you don't want. Typically in a live database, instead of view all grades, it will also have listed show current grades only or show previous and current grades only. So you can choose what breakdown you want given there. If GPA is kept for the student, it will show the GPA and the class rank if that is being used. You can click on a specific class and it will give you some information specific to that class. You can click on a teacher and it will then open up a window to give you their email address which you can click on and email them straight from Family Access. If you click on the actual grade, it will bring up a list of the assignments for that grading period. You can then click on a specific assignment to receive more specific information about that assignment, or you can just view all of the assignments and the different categories that the teacher might have set up. The next option on the menu is attendance. When I click on attendance, again, if I want to see both children, I can go back to all students and it will show the attendance for both of my children. So it shows the attendance individually for each of them. It has a chart over on the right hand side. You can also click view classes to see which classes were missed. You can view the chart by period or by day and you can also hide the chart. Student information is the next item on the menu. A lot of information here. We have the student's email address, their phone numbers, their address, all of their personal information is listed here. You can click on view the families to see the family information. Again, this is another place that you can go to view the email address for the teacher. You can request changes for the student, so if there's specific information that you need to change, you can click those on the screen to view that and then change it. The next tab is busing. This will show the current busing information for the children. Along with the pickup address, drop off address, it will have the bus numbers for morning and after school. Food service is the next tab. On the food service tab, up at the top we have applications. This area right here, you can click on this and it will bring up any applications that you have filled out for food service. Right. If you do not have a food service application already on file and you need to add one, on a real live database, it would say pending application, add application, or print to application, and right up here at the top, and you would be able to then add an application and complete that online. That would then be submitted to the food service staff. You can also see totals here of payments that have been made. If you click view totals, it will show how much has been spent during the year and how much has been deposited and also what the prior year balance was, so when they started the school year, what their balance was. Again, in the live database, you will have the option here to actually make a payment, which would be listed right here. The next tab is the schedule. On the schedule tab, again, you have different display options that you can use. So if you wanna show just the current term, you can click that and it will show just the term that you are currently in or you can view all of the terms. You can do a weekday by term, or you can do a matrix that shows all of the classes. Same as the other screens, you can click on the teacher to get the email address. You can click on the class to get more information. You can also click print schedule, and it will pop up in a different window where you can then print your actual schedule. The next tab we're going to look at is Discipline. If you click on the Discipline tab, you'll see any discipline offenses that have been recorded against the children. You can click on View Actions Taken to receive some more information about that. 
After discipline, we have test scores. If there are any test scores that have been added into Skyward by the student's teachers, then those will show here. If you click on Show Scores, it's going to give you more details about the scores for that test that the child took. Fee Management is the next tab. Under Fee Management, it's going to show any fees that are owed, any fees that have been paid, any discounts that you have received. So you can view your fees. You can also view payments that have been made, view totals, and you can make a payment. If you click on Make a Payment, it will open the web store in a separate window, which you will then have to log into the web store and complete your payments. If you click on Activities over on the left-hand side on the menu, it will then show any activities that the student has been involved in for that year. You can also click on View Activities from Prior Years to show any activities from a previous year. The portfolio is the next tab. This is where when you get to middle school and high school, they will post the report cards. So what you would do is go into the portfolio and you would look and it would be listed. You would click on it and then it would generate a report for you that would show you the report card. Next tab listed is the health info. In here, it will show a list of the vaccinations that the school has on file for your child. And then the final item on the list is login history. This will show any history that you have of when you have logged in. If you have questions, please contact Nitsi Bull at ibull at geneseoschools.org or 309-714-3240.